Hello French graders, welcome to our new math lesson. We are in lesson 5, topic 9. Alright, make an organized list. Well, in the previous lesson, we learned how to pair numbers and order them, either from least to greatest or greatest to least. And we know that it was easy because we have to look for that 10 digit, 10, the 10s, and I compare, see which one, which number have the greatest or the least. It depends on the question. Today we're going to do something fun. We're going to learn how to solve number riddles by comparing and ordering numbers and by making the most important thing, making an organized list. Why? Because when you make an organized list, you put all the possible answer. And then you're going to see which one is closest or which one is the right answer. So for example, if I say I'm looking for a letter between um, S and Z. For example, I'm looking for a, let, a word that it has a letter between S and Z. Or Z. So I'm looking for a word that it has uh, between S and Z. And this word is cat. So which letters are between S and Z? It's not A, because A is way before. A is the first letter. And then B, and then C, and then D, E, F. G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. So I'm looking for this is the word I have. I'm looking for a letter in this word. This is between S and Z. I know it's not A because in the beginning it's not C. It has to be between S and Z. So it has to be one of these letters. I have T. So the letter I'm thinking of is T. All right. So this is a riddle using letter. All right. For letters, now we're going to use numbers. So, for example, I'm going to say a riddle and we try to find the right numbers or the numbers that it could be the right answer or the secret number. All right. If I say, for example, I'm thinking of a secret number in a shape that has straight sides. Straight sides. So, that's mean I'm not going to look for circles. I'm looking for all the numbers that it has straight sides. All right. All the sides, I have a lot. Okay, so that's the first thing. You're making a list. You're organizing your list. So I exclude this. I take away the circle because it's not straight sides. So all of these numbers are possible. So let's go for the next clue. The number is between 20 and 30. That's mean the number between 20 and 30. So it could be 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So any number bef be before 20 and any number after 30, it's not in my list. So all the numbers that it's m less than 20, I have to take it away. So 19 less than 23, less than 20, 12 less than 26, less than 25, less than 20. Okay? And it says between 20 and 30. That's mean more than 30, it's not on my list. 41, 40, 43. So what's my number? 22. So 22 is between 20 and 30. 22 in a shape with the si uh, straight sides. So you organized your list by um, listening to the clues and try to get the best options or the possible answer that it's true. So I exclude or I X the shape that is not with a straight sides and then I X or I took away the numbers that it's more than 20 and um, um, less than 20 and more than 30 and then I left with 22 so the secret number for number one is 22 all right it's fun games you we can do anything you can go for shapes or sides or the value of the number more than or less than okay let's go for the second number for number two. All right, so this time I'm gonna work with shapes. 
or colors. So I'm gonna go, we previously we worked with shapes. Okay, this one I'm gonna go for color. I'm thinking of a secret number in purple. So that's mean any numbers in any other color, I'm not gonna look at it. I'm only gonna look at the option that I have in purples. So purples here. I have 40 and I have five, okay. But this number is between one and 10. So it's this number, it's more than one and not more than 10. So remember, I had the choice either 40 or five because these are the purples. But now I said it's less than 10, but more than one. So it's gonna be number five. So my secret number is five. So what do we do? We look at the clues that it help us to uh, find the numbers so the first clue was the colors so I right away looked for the colors the purple colors was 40 and 5 and then was the second clue that the number is between 1 and 10 so 40 is way more than 10 so it's gonna be 5 all right let's say one more game um, This is not square, this is not square, this is not square, this is not square, not square, not square. All right, so these are my squares. All right, so I have two of them, right? Um, my secret number, it's in green square. So I have green square and I have blue square. Number three, so my secret number is three. So when I choose, I go step with my clues and then it was easy to find which number I'm talking about all right my secret number for number four is a number is between 50 between let's say between 40 and 50 the number is between 40 and 50 okay I have a lot between 40 and 50 I have 40 41 43 yeah. Okay, so let's do it one forty. Yeah. This number is in circle. Okay, so it's not forty one because it's in a triangle. It's not forty three because forty three in a square. It's forty because forty in a circle. So that's my secret number. Forty. Alright. Okay, let's turn the page. <clears throat> Read, understand, and plan. Carl has a secret number. All right, he has a secret number. It's greater than 40. So that's mean I'm gonna look for all the numbers that it's more than 40, right? But less than 50. So more than 40, less than 50. Okay, I'm gonna go step by step. So I'm gonna put 50, 45, 41. Okay, these are the Oh, 46, because it's greater than 40. So one, two, three, four, I have four options. But he said his number is red. Oh, that mean I can take 45 because it's not in red. I cannot take 41 because it's not red. I cannot take 51 because it's not red. So that's my number. So now I know that it wasn't 41, it wasn't 45, it was 46 and it's between 40 and 50. So these are the choices and this is my right answer. All right, let's go for guided practice, page 316. Look at the numbers above. Make list, make a list to find the secret number. I'm a green number. I'm greater than 45, but less than 60. Okay, so let me erase these these are the numbers we're gonna use okay in order to answer this first four questions these are the numbers we're gonna use all right so let's see the first clue I am a green number so I'm looking for all the green numbers green 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 all right okay I'm greater than 45 more than 45 
No. More than 45, so 45 is not. 57? Yes. So which number am I? 57. It's fun, isn't it? Let's do number two. I am a blue number. Blue number. The first clue. Blue, blue, blue. All right. You say my name when you count by tens. When I count by tens. You know what that means? That means when I say 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So when I'm saying the number by tens, so do I have 40? Nope. Do I have 20? Nope. Do I have 50? Yes. So that's my number. So which number am I? 50. Awesome. Let's go for number three. I am a blue number. Okay, I have them here ready for me. I'm greater than 20, greater than 20, okay. The three blue numbers, greater than 20, but less than 30. Hmm, 50 is not less than 30, 50 is way more than 30. 41 is more than 30, so it's 24. 24 is less than 30, because I'm looking for a number that is less than 30, but greater than 20, so it's 24. Right here, 24. Okay, number four. I'm a red number. All right. I have 29, I have 46, I have 58. I see my red numbers. All right. First clue, I look for the reds. I'm less than 30. Okay, less than 30. 46 is more than 30. 58 is more than 30. Although it's red, but the second clue says less than 30. So 46, no. 58, no. This is the only red number that is less than 30. So 29 is my answer. Right. So you can do your rattle using either numbers between or shapes or colors. All right, do you understand? How does making the list help you solve a problem? Remember, when I see first, I'm a red, so I'm looking for the red. And then I'm less than 30, so I'm going for the numbers at less than 30. So, how does making a list help you solve a problem? Because the list helps you to find out the possible answer. Right? So we need to write this down. That a list helps me. To see all the possible answer. All right. Okay, let's go to page three hundred and seventeen. Make a list, write a person's name. Okay, so we're gonna make a list and over here, I'm gonna write, your answer will be that person name. So when you find your answer, when you solve all the clue, so your answer will be putting the name of that person, all right? So we're not putting numbers here, we're putting names and these are the names. So I have 10 books and I have names under each book with the different colors. So I have Greg under the blue, Joanne under the green, Ben under the purple book, Carla under the yellow book, Molly under the orange, Jay under the red, Louise under the blue, Viento under the turquoise, uh, Kate under the green, and then Peg under the purple. Okay. I have one all the way till ten. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So I put numbers in my books, I have the names, and I have the colors. And let's solve the clues. Number five, my book is between book number two and book number five. Book number two and book number five. Here's two and here's five. So who's between two and five? 
Very good. Ben and Carla. So I'm going to write Ben and Carla. Remember the answer for this question? It's a person's name. All right. Let's see for the next clue. So that was the first clue. So I have choice now. It could be Ben or Carla. So let's find out which clue can make us decide. Ben or Carla. All right. I have three letters in my name. Remember my choice were I between either Ben or Carla. But then the next clue says I have three letters in my name. So Ben, one, two, three. Carla, one, two, three, four, five. So it's Ben. You get three letters in his name. So now who am I? This is Ben. So see, you organized your choices. So you will be able to get the right or the right possible answer. All right, let's go for number six. My book is between book number six and book number 10. So this is book number six and this book number 10. Who's between them? These three names, Louis, Benito, and Kate. I'm gonna write their names. So Louis, Benito, and Kate. All right, okay, now I have three choices because it's between six and 10. Here's six and here's 10. So between six and 10, one of these names. So I put three of them, but let me see and read the next. Clue. I have six letters in my name. So let's count the letters in each name. So for Louis, I have one, two, three, four, four letters. One, two, three, four, five, six, six. One, two, three, four, five, five letters. So they said I have six letters in my name. So that's the right person. So that's the right name they need to. All right, let's turn the page and go page 318. More fun. All right, look at the numbers. Make a list to find the secret number. I am a number greater than 70. Hmm, greater than 70. Which number could I be? Greater than 70 means more than 70. So 52 is no. 53, no. 67, no. 58, no. 66, no. 64, no. So either 85 or 80 or 89 because it's more than 70, greater than 70. So these are the greater, the three greater than 70. So 80, 85, 89. Okay, so that was the first part or the first clue. Okay, now we have to choose the right secret number. You say my name when you count by tens. Okay, so when I count 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 80. I don't say 85 if I count by 10s. I, just say, I don't say 89 if I count by 10s. I say 80. So that's the number. Which number am I? 80. So the second clue helped me to find my secret number. All right, let's go for number eight. I'm a green number. All right. Okay, I see two green numbers. All right, I'm less than 60. Less than 60. I have 53, it's less than 60. 89, no, 89 is more than 60. So 53 or 89, these both green, but 53 is less than 60. So which number am I? Got it, 53. So we circle choice B. Okay. Use the numbers above, write your own riddle. So this is what you have, and then you can write your own riddle, have fun. You can either go for shapes, you can go for colors, colors, or the numbers between, so you choose the numbers that you want to um, use. So either you can, your riddle will be talking about shapes or colors or the value of the number. It's between 
two numbers that you choose. All right. So that was today's activity. It was really fun and I enjoy it. I hope you guys enjoy it and have fun doing it as well. All right. That's it for today, first graders. Thank you. Bye-bye.